Link 2012. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Congregate Games. This is me, Link 2012, Potato Man here today. Currently, we're going to be playing a game called Life in the Static. This game is by Tadas Gloom. It's rated 3.9 on Congregate, which is pretty stinking high for nowadays. And it's actually got badges. Well, it's got a badge. Complete all 28 levels. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go through, we're going to beat all 28 levels. We're going to have a fun time. And just experience the game, because I think this game is about the experience. The sounds are on point. Cool. So you press Z to jump. <laughs> I love how I did this on the first try and then I was like, oh, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay. Yeah, I... Am I going to be like that one reviewer that that can't play, what was it, Cuphead? Or is struggling to get through the tutorial level? Press Z while in the air. Oh, you can double jump? Cool. Nice. I'm just going to press R just to sort of get the... Get the feel for it. Cool. It's pretty fun. It's a basic platformer. Oh! You can stop time. Ah, now this is a game. Now this is cool. We can't go down, I take it, right? Cool. Yeah, this is really neat. Really cool mechanics. Reminds me of that one game that I played, uh... I can't remember what it's called. Watch out for the static blocks. Cool. Can't remember what it was called, but... I did record some episodes of it. Oh, sorry. sadly it died there. Sadly for that one, though... Um, I never ended up uploading them. I recorded a lot of episodes of some Cargo Gate games a while back. Oops. And I simply... Oh, you can actually go through the platforms. Okay, cool. I simply didn't upload them in the end. Oh, this is going to get really tricky really quick, isn't it? Oh, I keep forgetting you can pause time. There we go. GG. Don't even need to pause time. It's safe to jump on top of enemies when time is stopped. Oh, neat. Some rules apply. Same rules apply to lasers. Okay. Neat. Oh, okay, so you can jump on top of lasers. Neat. This is pretty cool. All right. It gets like the atmosphere is so interesting in this game. Because like one moment, you know, you have the cool little music and then all of a sudden it gets really eerie when you pause time. This would be a fun game to speedrun. 
checkpoint. I'm just saying. Whoops. <laughs> I just keep going. I don't learn from my mistakes. There we go. Ah, oh, you can't quite press it. There we go. GG. Pretty simple tasks here. Some static only appear when time has stopped or running. Interesting. Oh, so you can't actually touch the brain when time has stopped. I thought you couldn't. Wow, you can't quite do what I want. Okay. Hmm. Oh, come on. Okay, so basically you just have to jump over here. Whoops. I forgot what key it was to jump. <laughs> Very nice. Stage four, decline. And like the music pauses too when you pause time, which is pretty neat. So far, pretty simple stages. Oh, whoops. Okay, I see now. So you just want to pause time as much as possible right here. GG! Yeah, so it's basically like you can teleport almost when time has stopped. But yeah, like this would be, like the reason I say this would be cool speedrun is because you can do all of that when time is slow. You just have to be quick about it. Almost missed that one up. <laughs> ah, nuts. Okay. Cool. There we go. Nice. You don't need to do it too far out there. That's so cool. Stage 5, Confusion. Okay, so now we're moving into a different colored stage. It used to be black, now it's, it's white. It's gonna be a long game though. What we're at eight minute we're eight minutes in and we're five levels in, so we got a long ways to go. But that's gonna be fun. Actually I can split I'm gonna split this up into multiple episodes. Haha. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna split this up. So halfway through this you're gonna you're gonna see like a, a cut. I'm sorry about that, but that's me just splitting up the episodes. This is, like, I don't really have much to say because it's just, like, really neat. It's just such a cool concept. And it's implemented so well because, you know, you got the atmosphere in here. I really like the atmosphere. Okay, so you can still die to those. Yeah, it's really, really neat. I don't know. There's no story. But that's okay. Sometimes you don't need a story. Sometimes all you need is, like, a really cool game. The good atmosphere. There we go. GG. Very nice. So it says what? There's how many levels? 28 levels. Oh, wait. No, no. Wait a minute. No, no. Never mind. Each of these... So the stages are split up into levels. So no, we're almost done with the game, actually. Wait, what? How are we almost done with the game? There's so few levels here. This is such a cool mechanic. You could use this to do so many cool things. Like this, like this, you could all do without pausing time. It would be really, really tricky, but you could definitely do this level without pausing time at all. Like, see? Yeah, oops. Try to do it just once here. Yeah, like that. See? Now, obviously, it would be wise.
There you go. Oh, uh, ah, cool. Oh, that was really close. <laughs> I almost messed that one up. Oh, that's interesting. There you go. Just gotta get the right timing on there. I got. Oh, I see. I'm so glad there's an indicator on the laser. Otherwise, I would not have been able to do that at all. Oh, it would have taken me a lot of tries. I really, it's just like a little quality of life things like that that make this that make games like this so great. Like you could tell the developer. He didn't just put thought into the levels, but he also put thought into, like, you know, what the, it, it, yeah, there's just a lot of thought in the levels and gameplay. Like, the gameplay is great, the levels are fantastic, the elements, that's what I was going to say. Like, he put a lot of thought into the elements. <gasps> Wait, what? This platform keeps moving. Oh, snap. So you want to, oh... So you want to kind of freeze it when the plat those things are down. Can we make it through this? Ah, oh, not quite. Oh, we can make it through it now for sure. Oh, whoops. Yeah, my bad. Oh, rats. I need to do it at the right time. Okay, cool. There we go. Easy. I like the platform stop at the right spot too. It's not like they keep going back and forth like in some other games. Like, yeah, again, all the elements and sort of parts of this course. Oh, whoop. Right, you can't do that. Really well designed. I am definitely enjoying my time playing this. Whoops. Okay, is this the last level? No, nah, this is not the last level at all. But this is getting tricky now. wonder what the static over on the right is. Whoops. There we go. Very nice. So that's just objective static, so it's going to be problematic no matter where I'm at. Very nice. Oh, this is interesting, so you can't really... Do anything about that? Okay, cool. There we go! Level beat! That Now we go. Now it's kind of getting tricky. So at this point, it's, trick, it's testing our... Ooh, it, it's mixing concepts together, and... Whoops. Yeah, it's just really cool now. I don't know how to explain it, but this is testing our skills of our understanding of all the mechanics of the game. And it's mixing mechanics together. Like, this is how you design a good game. Like, this game is well designed, man. I, I know I'm terrible at it, but, like, this game is well designed. Uh, wait, oh, it didn't go all the way up, okay. So we need to, so I'm not looking very far ahead. What we need to do here is get in the middle there. 
Oh, I went too fast. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that one coming until too late. Very nice. Oh, come on. That little overhang there. Okay, I would have removed the overhang. Like, that's the that's the only thing I would change. I would have removed that overhang. That overhang's annoying. We're getting the hang of the levels, though. I say as I die to the most pathetic way to die ever. Just gotta be patient. That's my problem is I'm never patient enough. Right. Controls are solid too. Feels nice. Like this is so cool. Like oh. the, all the floating static around me. Oh. And if I pause it, the music keeps playing. But now it's mixing. Now you hear the static too when it's not paused. Okay. Ooh. going on <laughs> I can't do it at the same pace again <laughs> oh it's so cute though look at that Oh, I can keep moving. I thought that was the end. <laughs> Let's keep moving this way. Oh, you're getting smaller now. Wait, is, this, is, is he just part of the static? Is he just part of the static? Wait, wait, what? Is it saying that we're just part of the static? Just background noise? Just background noise to our everyday lives? Or background noise to the great play of the cosmos? Five out of five. Um, Yeah, no, I'm not even going to hesitate right now. <laughs> I'm going to rate that game five out of five, man. Holy smokes, Tadis Gloom. You it, you worked really hard on this game and it shows 100%. It's a really sweet short game. Doesn't take me a long time. This is actually going to be a perfect episode, you know, just 20 minutes. Um the the atmosphere was amazing both when it was paused and unpaused and that last bit there when the music continued, it's the static and the music slowly shifted into each other. I get the end that's where the atmosphere really came out into play. Uh, and, and that was really cool. And, and and not only that, but it made me think towards there at the end. Like, what, he's fading into the static. Is he part of the static? Are we part of the static? What does that mean? What does this mean for me? Making me philosophical now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's what I love about this. And then there's other. It, that's just not it. You know, it was a fun experience all the way. I never felt as if like, like how to put this? It was just the levels were wonderfully designed. There were all sorts of unique concepts that were introduced at a great rate, and nothing was too hard. The difficulty built on itself, and you tested concepts. I'm, I'm speaking as if I'm thinking of the developer right now. If you're watching this, I'm I'm greatly, uh, I'm honored. <laughs> this is a wonderful game. Um, no, the mechanics built on each other really well. 
I felt as if I was understanding them as time went on. I didn't feel as if any of the deaths were my fault. Like, except for that one corner that I hit my head against. You know, besides that, like, the level design was on point. Especially when you start to figure things out. The time pause mechanic was great. Like, this is... You see, you know, we played some games in the past where developers have really, really neat mechanics, but they just don't build on it enough. This game takes a great mechanic, and it builds on it. You know, I, you're, there could have been a bit more to this game, but, like, this is satisfying to me. Like, this is a satisfying game. This is completely satisfying. This built on the mechanic enough and introduced it to an interesting... There wasn't any story, but it felt like there was a story. It felt like there was an atmosphere, and I love that. Seriously, amazing game. I highly suggest anyone watching this right now, go check it out. Five out of five stars. <laughs> Hopefully I haven't rambled too long here. Um, for everyone else that's watching, thank you so much for dropping by. If you found this episode to be worth your time, please leave a like. If it wasn't worth your time, feel free to just drop a dislike. If you, someone else might find it insightful or interesting, feel free to share it. Feel free to share the game. Great game. And subscribe if you want more content like this. I'm working towards a thousand subs right now. I'm working towards it. Almost at monetization. But until next time, everyone, don't forget to contribute. 